porch, an unknown critter attacked a man's dog in his backyard, leaving him worried the species could return to cause more harm. It happened on East Wellington Avenue, which is near the Louisville International Airport. WLKY's Drew Douglas spoke to the dog owner and joins us now with more. Drew? Rick, the showdown between the creature and the two Rottweilers was a few weeks ago, but this creature that injured the man's dogs remains a mystery. Here's a look at the rodent that made its way into David Jovered's backyard. It would spit at you, white spit, and I tried to make it work to get out of my yard, but it was territorial. Once it was in my yard, he wasn't leaving my yard. Jovered says he was forced to shoot it after the 28 pound creature got the best of his two Rottweilers, leaving one of them with these injuries. Right there's one of them, but it was like all the way down here, and she's healed up pretty good. Jovered originally thought it was a beaver because some fish from his koi pond have been missing since the confrontation. The nearby Louisville International Airport is investigating, and a spokesperson suggested it could be a groundhog. Kentucky Fish and Wildlife say a groundhog would typically be outmatched by two 100 pound plus dogs. Without seeing it, they say it could be a large possum or a raccoon that doesn't quite look like a raccoon. Next door neighbor Larry Davenport did see it and is also perplexed. It made this real strange whistling sound. I, don't, I couldn't figure out what it was. It was kind of dusky. It was kind of getting dark. Jovered thinks the construction around the airport may have pushed the critters into his neighborhood. Davenport says a recently cleaned up mound of garbage on his property may have attracted the vermin. But that thing could have been living back there easy, you know what I'm saying, and all that trash and stuff. Jovered says he's seen several other similar looking animals along Crittenden Drive. Whatever it is, Jovered says he wants to get the problem taken care of before someone gets seriously hurt. I'm just looking for the people in the neighborhood that's walking kids and strollers or little animals like little dogs. They couldn't have defended herself against this animal. An airport spokesperson says they've also looked into the issue a couple months ago, but they were never able to determine what the creatures were or why they were in the area. They told Jovered that they're set up traps to catch the animals around the airport. I'm Drew Douglas, WLKY News. Thank you, Drew. And officials with Kentucky Fish and Wildlife say it sounds like a case of wildlife adapting to a neighborhood setting. In addition to a groundhog, they also ruled out a beaver, saying it would need a more traditional environment to survive.